Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Scorpios and this week I am back with this Victorian Mansion tutorial. So as you can see here, I just finished building this mansion and it is looking pretty nice. And my favorite part of this entire building is that the build palette here is actually pretty simple. So as you can see here, the build palette is pretty much just bricks, sandstone blocks and some blackstone blocks as well. And if you enjoyed this build tutorial, please consider leaving a like. We're going to start by laying down a foundation for this building. And in order for you to follow along in the building process, here I am showing you the number of blocks that you are going to need for each side. And right now, I am laying down a foundation using smooth sandstone. And since I am building on a flat terrain here, I'm going to make it very straightforward and just build up three layers. And after you have laid down a proper foundation, there are some optional steps that you could take to add to this foundation. So for example here, you can have one section of this wall come out two blocks like this. And once again, I'm going to put some numbers on the screen so that you can follow along. And let's make this part three blocks tall as well so that it fits into the rest of the wall. And over here on the back side, I'm going to do the same thing. And once again, I'm going to provide some numbers so that you can follow along. And before we move on to the next step, I'm going to add some texture to this foundation by adding in some sandstone. So as you can see here, you don't have to go crazy on the amount of sandstone that you put down. Or you could, it is completely up to you. And another thing that you can do to add some texture is to place down a layer of sandstone stairs. So here I am placing these stair blocks upside down. Just make sure that all of the corners are connected. So as you can see here, I'm just going through the entire foundation and doing the same thing for each side of this foundation. And after that, I'm going to jump right into building the walls for this mansion. So for this step, you're going to take out your brick blocks, and you will need a lot of brick blocks. So as you can see here, I am building right on top of the foundation that we just laid down. And here, I'm actually going to pause the video to give you the height of these walls. So as you can see here, some of these walls are going to be taller than the other ones because this is where the tower is going to be. And on this wall here to the left, we're going to create a bit of a triangle. So as you can see here, for each block that you build towards the center, you're going to build up two blocks. And over here on the back side of this building, I am going to create another one of these triangles. It is very important that these two triangles are exactly the same and that they line up exactly. And that is because we are going to build a roof directly across this part of this mansion. And another change that you can make is to come back to one of these things that we had just added earlier in the building process. And as you can see here, you can adjust its height pretty much however you want. And in my case, I am slashing the height down to half, which will be five blocks and just make sure that the walls are patched up and connected. And the next thing that I'm going to work on are these corners of these walls. So as you can see here, for each one of the corners, I am going to place down one sandstone block directly above the foundation that we had laid down earlier. And we're going to continue building upwards, but skipping one block each time. And after doing this all the way to the top, we are going to come back and replace all of the brick blocks in the middle with sandstone walls. And you will end up with a very nice texture as what you're seeing on the screen right now. So as you can see here, I am just going to go around the entire building project and do the exact same thing for all of the corners. And the next step is pretty simple. I am just going to find the central tower. And what I'm doing here is building up a two block tall platform and attaching to it will be a staircase that is three blocks wide. And I'm just going to throw in some additional blocks for decoration. We're going to create a proper entrance for this mansion. So let's start by cutting out a 4x4 hole in the wall. And we're going to fill in the two edges with some sandstone. The goal here is to have a two block wide pathway in the middle. So after that, all you have to do is throw in some stair blocks. 
You can go a little creative for this step. Uh, all you have to make sure is that you end up with a two by two door frame so that you can put in some dark oak doors. And after that, the next step is to add in some windows. And as you can see here, the process looks very similar. So over here on this wall, I am going to give you an example of how my thought process looks like when I construct one of these windows. So I'm going to start by cutting out a rectangular hole here. And in this case, the opening is five blocks wide and four blocks tall. And on the bottom layer of this window here, I am going to put down a combination of half slabs and blocks. And on top of the full blocks, we're going to put down two layers of walls. So these walls are going to look like columns. And on top of these columns, we're going to add a combination of stair blocks and half slabs like this. And for the windows on the second floor, uh, there's going to be a slightly different design. So take this window for example, we're going to start by working with a three blocks wide space. And I'm going to put down one half slab in the middle like this. And I'm going to fill in both sides of this window frame with some solid blocks. And I'm going to top it off in the middle here with an upside down stair block. So that is pretty much it. So with this particular window design, you can put some glass in the layer behind it so that it resembles a real window. And if the wall that you're working with has an even number of blocks, uh, there is a slight variation that you can use here. So as you can see the window over here, the space that I have prepared for it is four blocks wide. So I am going to start by putting down two half slabs in the middle and I'm going to fill in the window frame with some solid blocks. And on top, I am going to have two upside down stair blocks facing each other. So yeah, this is just a variation of the smaller window design that you saw earlier. And if you happen to have a blank wall like this, a building trick that I would recommend is to find the midpoint of this wall. And what I would do is to build up a vertical line of sandstone like this. And this simple step is going to make it easier for you to determine the placement of the windows. Another building trick that I would recommend here is to add a bit of decoration to the windows on the second floor like this. So what I would do here is depending on the size of your window, I would add one or two half slabs and I would add them in a way that it looks like you are basically extending the window frame outwards by one block. And I'm going to finish it off by adding one stair block on each side of this window frame extension. Another thing that you can also add are these sandstone walls. So here I am adding them directly underneath the stair blocks that I just placed down. So as you can see here, once I have figured out a building process, all I am doing is going around the entire building and pretty much replicating the same process. And using the same process, you can pretty much make these windows as large as you want. The one thing that I would recommend is to have each window on the first floor larger or equal in size compared to the window that is directly above it. And the next thing that I'm going to work on are these uh, additional structures that we had added later on the side of this mansion. So what I'm going to do here is to start by replacing the top layer of brick blocks with sandstone blocks. And to put in some texture, I am going to introduce some stair blocks and some half slabs as well. And so yeah, just make sure that you seal up the walls like this. And to utilize the space here, I am actually going to add another window here. And for this particular window, I decided to go with a slightly different design. So instead of having two blocks tall columns, the columns here are only one blocks tall. And instead of having a rectangular window frame, the top part of this window frame has a bit of an M shape. And I'm going to come over to the backside of this mansion over here as well and replicate the same process. Except for on the wall here, I am actually going to put in a door frame. So this space here is going to be turned into a balcony. So here I am going to start by cutting out a five blocks wide space. And there's going to be a bit of an arch on top. So as you can see, the arch is really just a combination of sandstone blocks and some sandstone stairs. 
And on the layer right behind this arch, I am going to add a layer of brick blocks. And I am simply going to put down one dark oak door in the middle here with an upside down sandstone stair for decoration. And after that, it is time to start working on the roof of this mansion. So I am going to start with this wall over here on the left. And starting from the outer edge, every other block, I am going to place these upside down stair blocks. So these blocks are going to be the support structure for the roof. And you can even make it double stair blocks like what you're seeing here. And for the other walls, we are pretty much going to be using the same process. So one or two blocks from the corner, you are going to put down one upside down stair block like this and place another one of these blocks on the other side and just make sure that the placement of these blocks are symmetrical and let's also extend the top edge of the existing walls by adding in one layer of sandstone slabs so yeah we're just going to repeat the same process for all other walls of this building and for one of these longer walls over here feel free to add in some additional stair blocks just make sure that they are evenly spaced out so as you can see here in my case i made sure to leave a space of two to three blocks in between them and just make sure to connect everything up with half slabs and after that it is time to work on the actual roof itself so over here on the right side of this building, we're going to start by placing down one layer of blackstone blocks right above the half slabs that we just placed down. So after doing that for this entire portion of this building, we're, we're going to top it off with one layer of blackstone stairs. And after that, we are going to repeat the same process, but one block inward of wood we just built. So here, as you can see, I am adding another layer of blackstone blocks with one layer of blackstone stairs on top. And going inward one more block, I am going to repeat the same process again. And you should end up with a roof structure that is exactly six blocks tall. And another thing that you can add here is to add in some sandstone blocks on the edges of this roof structure. So yeah, you will pretty much just replace the blackstone blocks that are already there on the edges of this roof structure. And after that, let's work on a roof structure for the tower here in the middle. And here I am going to pause the video to show you the precise number of blocks that I have on each side of this square foundation. And on top of this layer of blackstone blocks, we are going to add a layer of blackstone stairs. And once again, repeating the same process, going one block inward, we're going to start by adding another layer of blackstone blocks. And on top of this layer of blackstone blocks, you are going to add another layer of blackstone stairs like this. And repeating the same process over again one more time, you are going to end up with a similar roof structure that is exactly six blocks tall. And after that, let's move over to work on a roof for this side of this building over here. So the way that I would approach this roof structure over here is to start by placing down one blackstone block directly on top of one of these brick blocks like this. And after that, I'm going to add two more blackstone blocks uh, off to the side like this and add some blackstone stairs on top. And basically, I would just repeat the same process so, so that I end up with an upside down V shape like this. And let's make sure that the structure is symmetrical. And you can also smooth out the rough edges by placing down some upside down blackstone stairs and after that, let's finish the rest of this roof structure. So here I am going to start by placing down one layer of blackstone stairs on the very bottom edge of this roof. And I will just drag it across this entire structure over here like this. And after that, we're just pretty much going to repeat the same process for the rest of this roof here as well. So we're just going to extend the existing structure across this entire section of this mansion. So the goal here is pretty simple, it's really just to cover this entire structure up. And as you can see here, in the very middle of this roof, we are going to start by placing down two layers of blackstone like this. 
And in order to add some decoration on top of this part of this roof, we are going to start by placing down one blackstone stair on each end of this roof. And after that, let's also put in some blackstone walls. Just make sure to skip a block in between so that these walls do not connect. And if you are building this in survival Minecraft, in order to prevent mobs from spawning on top of this roof, you can also add in some black carpet in between or some half slabs of your choice. And yeah, after that, it's really just a matter of replicating the same process on the other half of this roof structure over here. And another thing that you can add to this part of this roof structure is by replacing the very outer edge of the blackstone roof with some sandstone blocks. And in order to finish the rest of this roof structure, we're going to come back here to this tower in the middle. So in the very center here, we are going to place one layer of half slabs. So here, as you can see, I am using sandstone once again. And in order to switch up the pattern here a little bit, you can also add in some full blocks and some additional half slabs on the corners as well. And to finish off this entire project, we are going to come over here to this portion of this roof and here we are pretty much repeating the same process once again by putting down one layer of half slabs. And after this entire area has been covered up, another thing that you can add here is to put in some additional half slabs on the corners as well. So that is all I have prepared for you guys for this week. I really hope you enjoyed this build tutorial and if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. And this way you can stay tuned for more build tutorials here on my channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.